Ryan Kleckner is a former Army Special Operations sniper. He's a firearms attorney and a columnist at The Federalist. And he joins us. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for coming up. Thanks for having me on, Tucker. So I think a lot of the people who are coming to the march this weekend are just upset about school shootings and maybe haven't thought about the agenda that undergirds the march. But the people who are organizing and have a pretty clear legislative agenda, they'd like to do a lot of different things. And I want to run a couple of those things by you and get your quick responses as to whether you think that they would, they would work. So the, the primary yeah. one is to ban uh, the AR-15 or basically the whole category of semi-automatic rifles. <laughs> would, would that have stopped uh, the school shootings we've seen? No. So criminals don't obey laws. The definition of a criminal is somebody who doesn't obey a law. Um, banning an inanimate object will not solve these problems. So, for example, the Maryland shooting yesterday didn't involve an AR-15. Hmm. Virginia Tech, he used pistols. The Fort Hood massacre, he used pistols. 9-11, they used box cutters. The tool is not the problem. I mean, when you want to talk about tools, look at the Austin bombings that we just solved today. Bombs are already illegal. It didn't stop the bombings from happening. But wait, but we know, because I saw it on CNN like all week, that high capacity magazines are the core problem. So when we ban those, obviously this will end, right? Uh, of course, of course. Because you know, during the assault weapons ban that started in 1994 and sunsetted in 2004, it did nothing to stop violent crime. In fact, today's levels of violent crime are 50% lower than they were at their peak in 1997, right in the middle of the same ban that banned those so-called dangerous high-capacity magazines. Well, that doesn't make sense because I know that places with strict gun control laws are much safer. I uh, keep hearing that. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things I love about our federalist system is that we can we can look at you know societies, or little cities or states, and, and experiment with laws or, or ways of doing things. And I think before we have serious gun control legislation, we should look at Chicago and see how it's working there. How you is know, it we, working? Has it, it stopped? Oh, they ban shootings there, so there are no more shootings. Solve the problem, right? No, it's it's it is the worst place we have going on right now in our country for shootings. We have not only just shootings, but violent crime. And you know, Tucker, that's another problem, is I don't know why we're focusing on shootings so much. Yes, they're horrible, they're bad, but we should be worried about violent crime. And when I talk to, right. and I'm trying to debate with an anti-gunner, one of the first things I'll ask them is, look, are you really trying to stop gun violence, or are you trying to stop all violence? If they answer gun violence, okay, I get it. They're just trying to ban guns. But if they want to stop all violence, okay, let's have a serious discussion. Because right. just getting rid of guns, yes, maybe, maybe the use of guns will go down if you ban them. But just like Australia, your violent crime is either going to stay the same or go up because you have a bunch of unarmed victims. So what about, I mean, one idea that seems to be gaining traction among even some Republicans is the idea of banning gun purchases under the age of 21. That doubtless would solve the problem. You're either an adult at 18 or you're not. Uh, we, I think we need to make that distinction first before we even get to guns. And I get it that Democrats want younger voters because as people grow up, they tend to stop voting Democrat. But right. if you can be tried as an adult in a criminal case at 18, if you can join the military at 18, if you can enter into legal contracts at 18, then you're an adult. You should be able to buy a firearm. But let's just pretend that we're going to raise it to 21, and we're going to raise all the ages for all those things I just mentioned to 21 years old, that still would not have stopped 29 of the top 30 mass shootings that we've had in this country. Well, I'm beginning to, to then right? there's, I'm beginning to think maybe there's another agenda here, uh, and it's not just about <laughs> maybe, yeah. stopping school uh, shootings. Ryan, thank you for injecting some reason uh, into this. It's been sorely lacking, so I appreciate it. Thank you.